Hello friends, welcome to my video. In today's video, we are going to explore an important topic in software development, which is localization and globalization in C-Shop. We'll learn what localization and globalization in C-Shop are and how and when to use in a C-Shop program. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Localization and globalization in C. -shop. Let's imagine I am a software developer working on a messaging app called Messenger. I want to make my app accessible and usable by people from different countries and cultures. This is where localization and globalization come into play. So, localization and globalization are essential techniques that allow us to make our application more accessible to users around the world. Localization involves adapting our software to specific languages, cultures, and regions. While globalization is the process of designing our application to support easy localization. In other words, we could say localization is the process of customizing our application to a specific locale or region. It involves translating the user interface, content and resources of our app into different languages to make it more accessible and user friendly for people from various linguistic backgrounds. So localization begins with the resource file that contains translation of our application system. These files are named with the language and the culture. For example, messages.fr-fr.resx for French or messages.de-deresx for German. So basically, these two are resource files. Let's have a look of the French source file and the German resource file. So this file looks like XML file, right? So if you see this XML version 1.0 and this is the encoding, right? There we have this root element inside this root element where we have two data elements in data element we have the name attribute greetings xml space preserve and the value that we have written in the french language here the value is bonjo that means good morning similarly we have the another data element where with the name attribute is farewell and the value is over it means buy so similarly if you see this german resource file we are having this name as in greetings and the value is hello and if you see the second name is equal to farewell and the value is of bidizing that means goodbye so basically the german translated word is there and french translated word is there that we are keeping in this this resource file okay so if you see this equivalent in visual studio we are having this user interface and by which we can put this simply name and value and it will create this xml file automatically right so that's what i have written XML file also and I have shown you this equivalent what we are able to see in this Visual Studio whenever we are going to add RESX file. In these resource file we are defining key value pair. So key represents the string identifier which is going to be used in our code while the values hold the translated version of those strings. Okay, let's talk about the globalization. What is globalization? Globalization is the foundation for easy localization. It involves designing our application to accommodate language cultural differences and other regional preferences. So globalization would involve considering different aspects like date and time formats, number formats, currency symbols and language support. For example, in the United States, people write date in the month, day, year format. So month comes at the starting place, then day and finally year. In the United Kingdom, date is written in the day, month, year format. So first day comes and then month and finally year. So with globalization, we can dynamically adjust these formats based on the user's locale or reason. How to implement localization and globalization in C-Shop? So it's just a five-step process for implementing localization and globalization in C-Shop. Step one, import name spaces related to localization and globalization using system.globalization, using system.resource. So here we need to import these two namespaces at the top of the program. Step 2. Set the desired culture using culture info, for example, fr-fr for French, de-de for German. So let's suppose our application are going to be accessed from France. We need to set culture as fr-fr for French, right? So here we need to note that which culture is going to get applied automatically. It is purely based on the user system preferences or application configuration or browser settings. But for demo purpose, we will be setting manually at the program level and see how it behaves. Step 3. Load the appropriate resource file using resource manager based on the specified culture. 
so here we need to use a specified culture for loading the appropriate resource file using the resource manager okay step 4 access the localized string from the resource file using get string method providing the key of the desired string so as we know that resource file contains localized string in the key value format so we use key to get the translated version of the desired string right so as a part of a step we are going to fetch the translated desired version strings okay step 5 display the localized string so finally we display the localized string to users in the application layer okay let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action here we are on visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the localization and globalization for that what i have done i have created one console application localization globalization demo. inside that i have created two resources for the french language and the second for the german language you see this french language file where we have the name value pair so farewell and it's related value that we have written in the french language i have written Puhovoya. That means bye. For the greetings, what is the value I have written? I have written bunju. That means good morning. Right. Similarly, we have the German file. For farewell, I have written the value as a of Vidazin. That means goodbye. Greetings for hello. Right. So basically, I have written two resource file over here. Right? So now in program.cs file, as we have already discussed, that in order to implement this globalization and localization, we need to follow five steps. So as a Step number one, we need to import namespaces related to globalization and localization. So for that, I have written these two namespaces over using system.globalization and using system.resources. Now there is a namespace named localization globalization demo that has class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application. So here I'm just printing a statement localization and globalization demo into console because I'm just giving the demo of the localization and globalization over here. As a part of step number two, we need to set the desired culture using culture info. For example, fr hyphen fr for French. So I have set it where culture is equal to new culture info fr hyphen fr. So here, if you see, I am just giving the hard coded value, this culture. But you don't need to do that in the real time expression. Just for the demo purpose, I am doing over here. In real time application, these values are going to coming from either for the system preferences or the application configuration or the browser setting it. But here just for the demo purpose, I have hard coded value. Okay, so you need to keep in mind. Now step number three, we need to load the appropriate resources file using resource manager based on the specified culture. So here what I'm trying to do, I'm just creating an object of this resource manager. I'm passing these values, localization, globalization, demo dot messages and type of program dot assembly. Then I'm just going to call this get resource set method to get the resource set so i have three arguments the first one is the culture info the second one is the create if not exist and third one is the try parent so culture true true i have passed this arguments over here for calling this in order to call this method okay now we will be getting this resource set so as a part of a step number four we need to access the localized string from the resource file using get string method providing the key of the desired string so we got this resource set right so we need to use its get string method and here i'm passing the key attribute for fetching the data from the resource file itself so right now i have set the culture info for french so it will be pointing to this file so i if i'm passing gre greetings as a key value fair so this value is going to get returned that we are going to use it right similarly if i'm passing this farewell so this value is going to get returned this value is going to get returned right so we will be capturing those things into the var variable and then finally as a step number five we are going to print it into this console window to show it to user so i have written console dot write line greetings console dot write line farewell right so these five steps basically help us to implement this globalization and localization now for the globalization things we can see we need to use you know culture information culture current culture and current ui culture we need to set it Right now, the culture we have already set as a variable as a French. So we need to set this thread dot current thread dot current culture is equal to culture thread dot current thread dot current UI culture is equal to culture. I'm just taking the time. What is the time right now? Where today is equal to date time dot now, and then where formatted date is equal to today dot to a string d. Finally, I'm just printing into this console window. Today is formatted date. So basically, it will this formatted date will be displayed. As per the French culture itself. Okay, let me execute this program and see the output. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. You see, this output got appeared. 
localization and globalization demo and then these words are written in this french language itself let me read out forgive me for my pronunciation i'm just learning the first word is the bonjour that means good morning the second word is uh voya that means bye the third sentence is today is dimars jwantit me tumilwantwa that means today is sunday 28th may 2023 okay let me close this now switch to the culture switch to the german culture so let me uncomment this german culture and then comment this french culture okay now let me go and execute this again okay so output got appear into this console window here if you see localization and globalization demo got printed and these words are printed in the german language so let me pronounce it in german forgive me for my pronunciation okay so first word is the hello the second word is of bidaji that means goodbye the third sentence is today is jontek aktwank swansik my swai thousand try swansik that means today is sunday 28 may 2023 so i tried my level best to pronounce this german and french words whatever it got appear into this console window as a part of all forgive me for my pronunciation once again okay so that brings me to end up my session to sum up we learnt what localization and globalization are in c sharp how and when to use in c sharp program so we can use localization and globalization as a powerful technique in c sharp that basically allow us to create application that can be easily adapted to different languages and cultures by implementing these concepts we can make our software more accessible and user friendly for people worldwide so that's the power of the localization and globalization in c sharp that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video